All right, so we're gonna make some guacamole. So as you see me, I'm gonna take apart the avocados. I did use five avocados. Um, usually I just use a spoon, just scoop it right out. It's so much easier than, you know, squeezing it out or using a knife, cutting it in pieces and then getting it out of the um, skin. So I'll just use the spoon. You can squeeze out the seed pull it out, and then scoop out the, the avocado out. Also, another trick is you get the knife, you stab it, twist it, voila, it's out. That's another easy way to do it. All right, so like I said, I did use five avocados. Now I'm going to use, um, cut a jalapeno. I'm only going to use half of it. If you want to use the whole whole jalapeno, then it's up to you. It's be a little bit more spicier. I did leave the seeds just because I do want you know to be spicy. Now I do cut do it small dice. Just keep dicing it, and then add it. Actually, I use a little bit more than half. Now just keep dicing it. Now you could do medium dice, small dice. I like it small. All right, now I'm going to use two tomatoes, small diced. Like I said, you could do medium dice, large dice, however you like your preference. I like it kind of small. Sorry about the tomato. It was super juicy, so it was just going all over the place. I try to cut it as much as I can. <clears throat> now also the knife I have, this is my favorite knife, so you don't have to use a big knife like the one I have. Whatever you're comfortable with, you do that. You're just going to keep dicing. Like I said, sorry about the tomato. It's super juicy. It's all over. So I did add half onion, and my onion was about medium size, like you see in the video there. I also use lime in my guacamole, cilantro, and salt. Okay, so now I'm cutting the onion. <clears throat> then I cut it down the half just to take all this peel off. Just the way I do it. I know there's different ways. This is the way I do it. And then I'm going to cut it in half. And then just use one half. Cilantro was in my way. All right, so I have no idea why I cut it like this, but there's many ways to cut it. And I am going to do a small dice. All right. Kind of look more like a medium dice. But I will run the knife through it one more time, just so they're not that big. And then I'm going to scoop it all into the container. Okay, now we're going to cut the cilantro. So just grab about a handful. If you like more cilantro in it, then you can grab more. Now, this is the way I got taught how to cut it. I like it to be a little mince. 
but where you it's small but then where you're able to see it no it's like I said it's all up to you though how you like it just keep cutting cutting right through form it and then we'll cut it right through now you're gonna have to do this a couple times until the consistency that you like it so cut 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 Just keep cutting. Now that's about how I like it right there. And I'm going to put it into my container. Alright, next step is I'm going to cut my lines. I will be using two lines. Also, you can... I'm going to be using a lemon squeezer, but like I said, you can, if you don't have one, you can use, just squeeze it with your hands. Here are my two lines. Alright, you're also going to see that I squeeze one half and then I'm going to take it out, add the other half, the second half, then I'm going to add my first half that I squeeze, put it in with my second squeeze and all that juice that's left in it i'm gonna do the same thing less waste and more juice all right then i'm gonna add my salt just remember what the salt add as much as you want keep tasting it add a little bit stir it taste it if you need more you add more All right, we are all done. Now you're just going to stir it. Just keep stirring, stirring, stirring. Smash the avocado and just stir it. There's the seed. The reason why I leave the seed is because I was taught that if you leave the seed, the avocado won't brown. I don't know if it's a myth or what. I just keep doing it all the time. I, I just do it. You don't have to. All right, just... Smash the avocado, stir it. Also, you need to taste it. If you need to add more salt, then this is the point where you add the salt. Okay, now we're gonna taste. It was perfect on my end. Just stir, stir. If you want to look more, if you want it to look more chunky, then don't stir as much as I am. I have no idea why I kept doing that with the spoon. Alright, that's it. Enjoy.